We have some ultimates online. Hard to tell exactly who's going, but we're about to go in. We know we have some ultimates. We know we have Iced Manta in the middle of a flux, unfortunately. That's a, probably not the greatest time to be in right now. We're about to go in and see how this fight finishes out. Um, It's going to be a scuffed first fight, and then these teams are going to look to regroup, and I'm a little curious to see who's going to get uh, <laughs> the better of this here. I, I have no idea which way this fight's going to go. Genuinely, I'm uh, beyond curious. Yeah, uh, we had, I was gonna say, we had a very uh, eventful pause period, I will say. A few players uh, DC'd, of course. Uh, this fight, however, will continue. A few players reset right back to the spawn room, including MJ Reyes. I think, uh, I want to say, can keep that one of them as well. However, uh, we are getting this one back up and running. Potato is still holding strong right now. 30 seconds left on the board for UAH to try to get something done. And, uh, well. Paka will find weak dumpling early though, so that's a fantastic pick. Emerald with the hack off onto Conquistadap. And now UH, they're gonna press their advantage here. Con Knight down, Paka will fall, HSG as well will fall to Hano. Meteor strikes out from Ragu Legend, but I don't know if that's gonna do anything. He's got no health left on that health bar. Looks like he's just gonna fall back to his squad. UAH now have a foothold on this point. They're moving towards the second objective. Windows out from Magma Boy just to try to get something done here. Regular Legend, however, will fall. EMP's out from, oh. from Emerald, and it catches three. Yeah, now UAH, they're going to press this advantage. They are going to hover right on in there. Weak Dumpling is slept up. Is anyone going to touch? That's going to be no. No one touches the objective. UAH, Charger Blue, they've capped at the second objective, and now they're cleaning up the fight, too. Can he step down? Magma Boy will also will fall. That's a clean team wipe. That's going to be UAH. They are now pushing this objective through third point. Yeah, they're going to get that point, hoping to get this third here. It's a hard point, and with the time bank they have, it could be challenging. A uh, weak dumpling is still on the Widow. I think the sight lines kind of close off here a little bit. Could be hard for that Widow to find value. Let's see what weak dumpling can do with Emerald. Now going to be on the Tracer, probably harassing her all day long. Yeah, Emerald on the Tracer. Going to try to get something done on a weak dumpling. Weak dumpling really, uh, really been, uh, really showed up so far uh, on this Widowmaker. Now into the third objective is going to be UAH. Alright, you legend in a little bit of trouble. Nano's out. It's gonna hit MJ Reyes. He's been thirsty for these nanos all day so far, and he finally is able to get one. Shatter's out. HSG is caught by it. We'll go down to Paka. Paka will fall the weak dumpling though. Fantastic headshot. Picks going both ways. Weak dumpling with another one on the Emerald as well. Ice Monta down. Potatoes. They've held strong once again. And UAH possibly with the 20 seconds they have could get another fight. Not gonna be easy with the ultimates online here. Uh, coming out for potatoes, they have a grab, a mirror that could look to hold this third point. Yeah, they could be looking to hold this one. They got the sights, they have the window, they're about to have the grab as well from Kinky's dad. They're probably going to be uh, comboing those two ultimates. Uh, oh, goes out. oh, MJ Race, that's fantastic. Grabs out, it's only going to catch Ice Monta, it looks like. Shatter's out, going to catch a few. Potatoes, they're getting the picks they need. Someone's got to touch. It's going to be Paka, but it looks like he's going to go down shortly. However, Kinkisnap is down. Not many people on the objective for Potatoes, but uh, yeah, UAH, they're just getting cleared out right now. Paka down, Ice Monta down. And uh, this is just the staggers now for UAH coming out. Uh, MJ Reyes on the ball. Going to try to uh, put some disruption onto the back line. MJ Reyes will catch Con Knight, though. So this is still doable for UAH. Ice Monta down to HSG. Oh, RKO's beat! It got cancelled by Ryu Legend! Oh no! Uppercut no one going to the cap! Oh no, RKO uppercut it right into the air during the beat animation. That's not going to get off. Yeah, that that animation gets uh, made much longer, and then he doesn't get to hit the ground before RKO absolutely goes down. That's a huge cancel from Raga, and now, or from Ryu Legend, and now potatoes have an actual win condition here this could be huge for them yeah potatoes they now have a win condition something they've been looking for all day long thus far and uh, no, now they're gonna get it so uh they made a, a almost to that third objective uah did anyway and uh, potatoes they're gonna try to uh they're gonna try to get this one done they want to try to take a map in this series here jump any yeah i think um i think the thing is uh they need this map you know, like potatoes really need this map. They have a chance. Obviously, they need it, right? They need it to be in the playoffs. They need it to keep playing the game. Uh, they need it in any way they could possibly need it. And they're coming out with a comp that speaks like they're trying to find something here so far. It looks like they're going to come out on a hog ball early. 
Yeah, look, oh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is the exact cop that UAH ran on their attack, and it looks like uh, potatoes are gonna try this exact same thing here. I will say UAH, uh, yeah, definitely uh, being a little bit jokier throughout this whole series. Of course, uh, this match, I don't, I don't think their seeding can actually change um, from this match. So, uh, of course, not a whole lot of stakes here. Uh, whether they win or lose, uh, however many maps it takes, I, I really, I don't think it matters all that much for UAH here. However, they still want to take the win, and that's exactly what they're doing. Emerald's going to find weak dumpling early. And uh, we'll get attacked here by Con Knight, but uh, yeah, Emerald's going to escape. Ragu Legend will be the next to challenge him on the Widowmaker. Oh, look at the hook! Kinky Snap will catch Emerald with a fantastic hook there. HSG will fall as well to Paka. Uh, HSG actually um, actually offers a 1v1, a Lucio 1v1 to RKO. Uh, we're just going to see if that's going to come to fruition here, uh, which it might. Uh, yeah, the two of them, yeah, they, they want a 1v1. They want a 1v1 hard here. And, they're uh, looking for it, yeah. They're, they're, just... looking, they're looking for each other here. Hello, hello. Oh, they found each other. The teams are getting in the in the way a little bit, it looks like. That's unfortunate. But it's so far an Ana Lucio 1v1, at the very least, to satisfy that urge. Uh, McCree's coming in soon to help. It's not looking like a 1v1 for too long. HXG has slept. HXG is down, yeah. Dominated by the enemy team. Huge plays there for UAH, or frankly, winning what is a scrappy split fight all over the map. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm sure RKO and HSG, I, I, I think that they want to do this 1v1, I, it looks like, anyway. Uh, however, Potatoes uh, still in that spawn room looking to get something going on the cart. They haven't pushed this cart, like, at all so far, Jump Penny. Yeah, no push. Uh, they're on it a little bit now, obviously. This isn't quite where you would expect UH to contest, especially now that they're down. They're going to be regrouping. This McCree is looking to get out here. Paka does. Can be chased down a little bit by the Lucio, but they go back in. UH is on the point now. MJ Reyes looks for the shatter, doesn't seem to connect. Blocked. He has the nano on him though. Getting very, yeah, very low. MJ Reyes will. Paka will fall to a Ragu Legend as well. Weak Dumpling slept up by Hano. Will go down to Emerald, but Emerald falls to a Ragu Legend. Another pick for him. Ragu Legend really trying his best to will his team to a map win here. Windows up from Magma Boy. They're gonna put a Fire Strike right through that one, but it doesn't catch anyone just yet. Uh, UAE is Charger Blue, they're backing right up as Ice Mount is off the edge of the map to keep it having HSG falls to Paka here. Yeah, Paka gets a huge pick there on HSG, meaning that really, uh, UAE can still win this. They high noon into it, and Magma Boy has to use the M or at seemingly the last second to get that out. Ragu Legend goes down to Emerald in the middle of the enemy team. Now, MJ Reyes has space to take oh, with this hammer. Emerald. Another huge kill on a weak dumpling. And yeah, he's just on this high ground. He's going to cause some damage here. Another one on the HSG and another one on Conquista. And another one on a Magma Boy. Oh dear God, Emerald. Yeah, this guy's hitting the head to left and right. You cannot stop this guy jumping. Yeah, only a minute left. A Space Jam combo could come out here. That pick is RKO. Huge. Okay, oh, what the? Times weak dumpling. And, and the thing is, the Space Jam could come online. That's probably Potato's best hope at capping this point. MJ Reyes has pinned Conk Knight off the map. And again, it's just going to be Potato's trying to set up for this whole Oh, look at HSG. Seconds. HSG sneaking around. He wants to frag Emerald really badly. And he gets HSG. Oh the God. team bag. He team bags him too. That's dirty HSG. Oh, no. And uh, uh, yeah. Potatoes, uh, there's still no one on this card just yet, which they now will get on here. UA is charging blue, they gotta back up a little bit. MJ Reyes trying to still keep the aggression up, however. RKO still has this beat here, and here's the Lucio 1v1. They're on the oh, coast there side, is. they're going at each other. Who's going to win this one? They're both going back and forth. The I don't beat. even care, but oh, the beat's out! Agency uses the beat, both the beats are out! Capping the, the point is going to be potatoes, but it doesn't matter. I'm just paying attention to this Lucio 1v1 that's happening right now. Wheat Dumpling is going to try to help out by trying to kill RKO here. But the Lucio They're 1v1 still is going. still going. Off the edge of the map goes RKO. That's the end of that chapter. Yeah. Uh, but homie yeah, that was... Oh, he just she's off the edge of the map too. It's it, like stocks. It, you know, yeah, it's a homie stock. <laughs> uh, as you would say in terms of uh, Super Smash Bros. If anyone plays that here. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no that was pretty entertaining. They hold on to it for the next fight. Yeah, they're gonna have this grab meteor strike here. Ryu Legend with a fantastic uppercut here. Going to have to use that space jam early though. Can Kisadav uh, not gonna be able to use that grab in time uh, to profit off of that? However, Ryu Legend coming in from the side but gets felled by Ice Manta here. But the bomb is going to come out from Ice Manta. Catches no one. Oh, Remek also will not. Paka with the dead eye will catch Weak Dumpling here. Con Knight as well will fall. UAH. Yeah, they're cleaning this one up here, Jump Penny. 
Yeah, yeah potatoes don't go for that space jam combo. Obviously, the diva of Icemon to makes that really hard. Uh, you gotta try to not get that eaten. The end of the day, grab just doesn't come out there. Yeah, grab still not out. Can you see that? Is still holding on to that one. Maybe holding on for Overwatch too. Uh, HSG falls to Paka, but Paka in turn will be felled by weak dumpling. No yeah, that could be the case. Emerald finds a pick there. Oh, the pin. Whoa, whoa, huh? Oh. Yeah, that was an ambitious pin, I guess you could say, from Khan Knight. That'll get slept up instantly and, by Hano here. And the fact that the boop caused uh, MJ Reyes to not even get his response pin was even more uh, outstanding than the decision to pin itself, honestly. Yeah, UAS Charger Blue. Yeah, this is no mercy here, I could say. Uh, cart about halfway through second point. One minute on the clock here for Potatoes to try to cap this objective. The 60 second mark will now be passed here. Yeah, Up they the don't have much time left for this. The Ana in the back, look at that nade going in. Doesn't oh, have anything the Emerald's out as well. Again, Emerald finding Weak Dumpling. Oh. Uh, some lead between the eyes there. Once again, Lucio in this back. HSG sneaking around. No one sees him yet. Uh, Aragu Legend is going to come in and help out, but he's that is felled by MJ Reyes. Emerald down to HSG. HSG just trying his best just to try to frag out all these members, but MJ Reyes is just going crazy in this backline right now. Will catch three. Pocket down to Aragu Legend. So these picks are going both ways, but I mean, if the picks go both ways, the defenders are going to have the advantage here, that being UAH. And uh, 16 seconds left on this clock. Potatoes, they gotta find something here. They gotta find a foothold. The sights are up from weak down blade. But look at the shadow MJ Reyes is way in the back line. Look wow. at MJ Reyes over here. HSG trying to challenge him, but he's way in the back line. Potatoes are on this cart here. This is one of the most chaotic games I've ever casted, Jump Penny. I mean, just start to finish. It's been absolutely insane. Grabs out from Kinkista. A bunch of people are caught in that one, but a regular legend is down. Con Knight, Kinkista, Magnum Boy. They are all felled. Beats up from RKO. And one last nano from Hanoi on RKO will seal the deal. UAH Charger Blue is going to win that one in uh, a very decisive 3 to 0 jump, Penny. Yeah, that was uh, pretty decisive, interesting. Honestly. That was an interesting uh, game. It was a big role uh, for UAH. Uh, big plays for them. And Potatoes, you know, they tried, but they just weren't able to get this win. And they're going to be eliminated as a result of that, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, Potatoes are uh, not able to pull out the win on that one. Uh, which means uh, they are no longer eligible for the playoffs. Uh, which means we do have our eight teams that are going to be in the playoffs. Uh, 4 and 3 Riot is uh, going to have that number eight spot uh, in our playoffs in, in our playoffs this year. Um, that being said, Jump Penny, this was uh, one of the most interesting games I have been a part of in a long time. Uh, just from start to finish, just the antics that were going on today, which is unbelievable. Yeah, we saw antics out the wazoo, uh, which, <laughs> of course, makes for an interesting match to watch. Uh, both teams had their fun, and we gotta look for an MVP here. From, yeah, it's a hard one to pick. I gotta say, a strong candidate for me would be Emerald. Uh, yeah, Emerald definitely, definitely a strong candidate here. Um, I mean, it's kind of difficult to you know give an MVP for this game, just considering how odd it really was. Yeah. Um, I mean, everyone really, everyone really um participating uh in this kill feed, really participating in the antics uh, on this one. So. Of course, Emerald definitely a, a good candidate for this one, but really anyone on Charger Blue could get it today, Young Penny. Yeah, that's, that's very true. Charger Blue played a great game, and we saw all-around performances from the likes of MJ Reyes, RKO Avi, a lot of players. We see um, that core for Charger Blue is just very strong. They've played it throughout the season. They get another win here. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with Emerald MVP, Octave. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree. Start to finish, he was just clicking heads left and right. Uh, yeah, it, it was... Uh... That was a pretty dominant performance there from Emerald. Yeah, Emerald had a, a great game. Um, we saw it a lot on that last map, but every map, really. Uh, we saw Emerald play the Widow, uh, the Hanzo, I believe, at some point. Different, A lot of different characters coming out from Emerald, but the Widow really puts him in our hearts for a long time there, especially after such a devastating map he played. Uh, yeah, Octave, I think we are... I believe we have a short MVP interview coming up here with, uh, with, with Emerald here, uh, if we can get him in here. Yeah, hopefully. But yeah, this game, this was just, um, I don't even know how to describe this game. We saw everything today. We saw RKO get like, what was that, like eight nanos today? He, like, he got at least two nanos on every single map in this series. 
Uh, we saw Lucio 1v1s, and we saw Spawn Holds, we saw Bastion, we saw Torbjorn. It, it was only three maps, and it was a relatively short series, I could say, but it was just jam-packed with just nonsense jump ending. Yeah, we had a, a nonsense game, very much. We're going to have our nonsense MVP coming up. Here comes Emerald. How are you doing, my man? You had a great game. Uh, how you, how you feeling? It was a good game. Uh, pretty dominant win for you guys. How do you feel after that going into the playoffs now? Uh, pretty good, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> we saw, um, <laughs> I, I certainly saw you get, uh, you know, clearly there was a Lucio player who had it out for you in a lot of moments. Yeah. Uh, there and was some Memphis. intense tooling. Yeah, they, they wanted you dead, but overall, your team got the win. And you had a great game because of it. We saw uh, a couple different characters. I know we saw the Widow. Um, I think we saw Hanzo at one point. Um, nah, nah, nah. I what were you on today? Widow, Tracer and McCree. Okay, yeah. So the Widow, the Tracer, the McCree. So hit scan uh, specialist uh, for the team. Um, Indeed. But played great on all of them, um, especially like the Tracer and sort of like unusual circumstances. Uh, Octave, any questions for our MVP? Uh, yeah, I, I got to ask. I mean, this game that we saw today was one of, um, if not the most odd game I've ever been a part of. I don't, yeah. I don't know. Do, do you agree with that? Emerald? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of, kind of a weird champ game to be honest. But a weird champ. we we made yeah. it, we make it fun, you know, because like we knew this was going to be kind of unbalanced. So we're like, why not just have a bit of fun? So we did. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm glad because uh, me, Jump Penny, and I, uh, we were we were in stitches uh, for for a lot of that. <laughs> to be completely yeah. honest, I mean, it's a good man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's certainly. Fun. I mean, I I I do want to ask though. The Bastion comp that you guys ran on attack on Numbani for that just yes. gargantuan time bank. Yeah. Was that like planned beforehand no. or did you guys just no, like play that just on a win? It was it was more unplanned than planned. Like you could we couldn't even plan the plan, you know? <laughs> so we just someone picked Parker picked Bastion. I don't know why. And then we just kind of did whatever. Yeah, well, it and worked, uh, it worked. It definitely worked. Uh, yeah. we, we were actually we were talking about uh, that that time. That was four minutes and fifty seven seconds. We wanted to look and see what the Overwatch League records were for uh, for Numbani. We wanted to see if that was on it, but uh, of course, uh, not hundred percent sure on that one. But uh, <laughs> either good. way, either way, this was just uh, I don't even know how to describe this game, Emerald. <laughs> like, yeah. So it was yeah, that. Else. <laughs> Definitely something else. But that being said, you guys, of course, already uh, clinching the playoffs. Of course, I think you guys are in that number five spot. Um, so, how do you guys feel going into the playoffs? How do you think your matchups are? What do you think you have a good chance to really go far in this tournament? Yeah, I think we do. Uh, we just don't need to like throw too hard, you know. Uh, and I think we'll be good, to be honest. Like that's our only problem. We kind of throw sometimes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> see, you you heard it here first. Don't throw and you'll win games. Uh, <laughs> that being said, I, uh, that being said though, jump any if you don't have any more questions for the man. I, I guess we'd send him back to his team. Yeah, I think we're good. Great interview. Thank you for uh, a great interview and an even greater game. Excited to see you in the playoffs. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. See you there, man. See ya. All right, that All was right. A, a great interview. Great questions, Octave. Um, thank you. Thank you. Blew it out of the water, man. On the on the questions on the cast. I had a great time today, especially uh, after such an entertaining match, Octave. Uh, yeah, any final words for you in the stream here? After, <laughs> again, a really great yeah, match. We, we are, before we leave, of course, we of are course. going to be looking at, of course, the standings. Um, we are getting close to seeing our final standings. We've only got two games left to play. Uh, so, of course, we are going to see those coming up tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so we, at 8 p.m., we are going to be seeing... 4-3 and three Riot go up against WVU. We are going to see that. And uh, once those are done, uh, we are going to have our seedings for the playoffs. So uh, that being said, Potatoes, with that loss today, uh, now out of the playoffs, uh, they can no longer make it uh, into this playoff bracket. So we have our eight teams that are going to be in the playoffs. Uh, you've seen them on your screen. One to eight, those are the teams we are going to see uh, in our gauntlet here, Jump Benny. Yeah. That's a huge game because... Uh... It means that, you know, Potatoes have sort of secured the spot for 4 and 3 Riot, right? Like, uh, Riot now is going to be in the playoffs regardless, I think, of how they're... I believe they have one more match to go. Yeah. And then they're going to be in that eighth spot. 
at the least. And I believe they have a chance uh, if they could pull off the upset here. Uh, they could move up in the rankings and it would actually be huge for them. Uh, pulling off a win and moving up in the rankings would mean that they have one less game to win in the playoffs. So Ryan actually has a lot to play for. Yeah, uh, no? I, I do. I do agree, of course. Oh, okay. uh, WVU Mountaineers as well. Um, they're seven and one right now in that number two spot right now. However, if they are able to take a win uh, against Riot tomorrow, they will move up to that number one spot and overtake four and three Havoc. Um, yeah. Yeah, because of course all of because eight teams make these playoffs, the seeding is extremely, extremely important here. Um, so. With only a couple games left, uh, the only spots that can change are going to be that 7 and 8 spot as well as the 1 and 2 spot. Um, so, Jump Bunny, that being said, uh, I think we can look real quick at the fixtures, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, uh, of course, we are. We did see two of our matches today. Uh, Ascent took down U New Haven Varsity. And, of course, uh, we did just see UAH Charger Blue take the 3-0 against Potatoes. And, uh, yeah, a very exciting day of a rush today. We saw an ex a fantastic match earlier today. And then, even though the one we just saw, uh, definitely not as close by any means. It was still um, very, very entertaining in a different way, Jump Penny. Yeah, it was. It was stunning. It was beautiful. It was almost like art. It certainly wasn't Overwatch at certain times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh, no yeah we uh, saw it. very very odd at times yeah <laughs> very odd at times you could say um however that being said i uh, i think we are just about ready uh to head out jump penny uh it has been a pleasure casting with you today and uh do you have any uh, final remarks for everyone uh just the same uh you know it was a great stream thank you again octa for joining me make sure again you guys follow uh if you have that prime sub now would be a great time or on the next stream if you have it then uh, make sure you guys follow so you don't miss this matchup tomorrow and, of course, the ensuing playoff matches because that's what it's all been for. All these matches we've seen are all going to get to see uh, these storylines sort of pay off uh, in the playoffs. So, again, make sure you guys follow so you do not miss those. And also, you can be entered in our giveaways. Thank you, Octave. I had a great casting, my man. And I want to thank the chat for being very entertaining tonight. Um, GG's, everybody. And uh, I think 4-3 and three signing off. Yep, 413 signing off. Make sure you don't miss that game tomorrow. 8 p.m. EST, 413 Riot. Go up against WB Mountaineers. That being said, I am Octave alongside Jump Penny. This has been another installment of our 413 Championship Series, and we will see you guys on the next one.